Well, not initially, but eventually. All right, all right. Is there anything more you want to tell us about that? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this was one of, one of the hardest things about putting this book together, yeah. was, was the question of uh, how much to tell and how much not to tell. Um, because the readers, of course, want to know everything. And I, I knew some things, and you know, I, I shared some of them with my, my editor, Ann Grohl, and some of with Elio and Linda. Um, but there are things that I wanted to reveal in later books, in later novels, or in, like in the case of that, in later Dunkin' Egg stories. So it was, it was like, you know, I suggested, um, at one point, like when we were dealing with, with uh, one of the big mysteries of the, that people want to know a lot about was uh, Summerhall. And um, I don't Summerhall, uh, should we explain what Summerhall is? Does everyone know what it is? Uh, Summerhall Summer was a all do. Targaryen secondary castle um, that was uh, in the, uh, sort of the border where the Stormlands and the Reach and the Dornish marches all come together. And it was, uh, home castle to uh, Egg's father in the Duncan Egg stories and to some other Targaryen princes during a certain period of time. But it was destroyed at a, at a certain point, and there have been references to the book. Something happened at Summerhall, something, something dark and traumatic. And what exactly happened? And the readers all want to notice. And I know what happened, but I don't want to tell the readers yet <laughs> because I want to reveal that in a later Dunk and Egg story, but how do we get around that? Because the Maester is writing the history, and this is a very important event, so I suggested that since we're doing this as a mock facsimile, that perhaps Maester Yandale could write a detailed account and then accidentally knock over his ink well, and there would be a big <laughs> blotch on that page uh, <laughs> when, you, when you got to that book. That was my answer here. Uh, Anne actually talked me out of that because she felt that uh, that if we did that, a lot of customers would be returning to the bookstore. I said, oh, <laughs> I got a defective copy. There's a big blotch here on page 314. Could you give me a copy that has that in? Um, you're not going to actually find out much about Summerhall in this book. Sorry to tell you. We didn't do the blotch, but we got around it in another uh, ma matter. But uh, that was, unfortunately, my reaction to a lot of this stuff. It, point out, well, wait a minute, I don't want to reveal that. I'm going to use that in a later Duncan. No, 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 you can't tell them that. I, that's a good detail. No, 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 leave that out. And <laughs> finally, Elio and Linda and Ann ganged up on it. I said, you have to tell them some of these things. <laughs> so I did. And actually, I made up, uh, you know, there, there, there's amazing amount of new material in this book and, and stories that I made up just for the book and stories that I eventually was going to include in the novel, and they'll still be in the novels and the Duncan Egg stories, but if you read this, you'll already know somewhat of what has happened. So there's, there's lots of new stuff in here, but uh, um, I still have mixed feelings about telling things like that duel with Sir Barathon and, okay. and the Laughing we Storm.